I have the most mass-produced gun in the world used by the British Army and this gun is the W Greener and Son. This specific gun completely opens in a different way completely. So the cartridge goes into the top, it has a lock-in mechanism there, you slide the cartridge in there, close it up and you can shoot. There was 88,000 of these made in lots of different formats. Some for game shooting, some for riot control and some for shooting big animals, big beasts in Africa. And you can pick one of these up for not particularly, not a lot of money. They have got Greener's WG gun on the side. They were made in England, in Birmingham. So they were originally a proper English gun. They were built as solidly as they possibly could. You literally cannot break them. This particular one is a 26 inch, but they came in 24 inch, 26 inch and 28 inch barrels. They had little to no choke in them at all. So literally when you shot something, you knew you hit it. They made 86,000 of these and they are still one of the guns that everyone wants to have in their collection. So if you find one of these, make sure you buy it and make sure you keep it. Paul. And then that opens up like that and it ejects out like that, goes in the bin. So let's repeat that. So you push that right down, cartridge goes in like that, close that up, safety catch off, pull. And then it ejects out. Let's try that again, cartridge goes in, Safety catch up, pull. I'm gonna be honest, it kicks the most I've ever seen a gun kick, but it's fun. And I mean, you imagine if you shot some really heavy cartridges through that. Pull. And I'm going to say, the person that brought this in for me to have a play with was a viewer, and I bet he's watching this. Please comment if you are watching it. And I would like to say thank you, because having different things on the channel really, really helped. Because doing the same old guns, and the same old modern guns, or cybersides, gets a bit boring. This is, it's put a smile on my face. And this is something that you have to have in your cabinet. So if you ever get the opportunity to buy one of these, buy them. We will also have this at Kelmarsh Game Fair for anyone to have a look at, not for sale, but we'll have this at Kelmarsh Game Fair for anyone to come up and have a look at. And if you're really nice to Alex or I, you might even be able to shot with it on the Have A Go stand. And now let's see if Alex can hit one. And let's see if Alex can load it easier than I could the first time. It, it, it will kick you. Whoa. Jesus Christ. Yeah. All I would say is you imagine somebody years and years ago was fighting with one of these Cartridges weren't as good as they were now. So imagine the, the strength you had to have for this to go off. Probably paper cartridges. Oh. 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 
think I'm more likely to hit something from the hip than I am holding like that. <coughs> well, so there you have it, the Guina. Comment below if you've seen one of these before. Come and see us at the, at the Kelmarsh Game Fair to come and have a look at it. Thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. It really helps us to give you content like this. And thank you very much to the viewer that's let us have some fun with this gun.